Hello and welcome to more World War II 172 scale. This is going to be another update. My Churchill tank build. I've got the tank basically built, completed, and then I'll talk about the next step in a moment. Uh, we've got uh, the, the box that's an Italy Churchill tank, and I'm showing some uh, <coughs> tank riders that I'm going to be using, and then we'll talk about the the brand of paint and look at some of the paint brushes. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, this is the Italy Churchill Mark III. I believe that's an older box. I got this one through eBay at a lesser price, but the the box was open and it was missing a couple pieces, so I had to do the best I can to make up for that. Uh, let's bring the tank over here. <coughs> On the sprue, I painted uh, an olive drab, which was uh, this one, model color. These are very uh, nice paints. They're about $3 each. And then uh, I also painted uh, steel gray with a wash on the tracks that I did. So you can see it's been painted a couple times. What well, was on the sprue? And then in the, the gluing process, you can see some of the shiny glue. So the next step on this is going to be <coughs> another basic coat of the tank. And then uh, maybe a wash. Then I'm going to do the decals. And then I'm going to add, uh, paint the, the bed rolls that come with it. And then there were two extra little pieces of track that I'm going to add on there. This is the figure that came with it, the British commander, but I'm not going to be using it <coughs> in British service. They give you decals to make this as a Lend-Lease Russian tank at Battle of Kursk, the famous big tank battle of 1943. You can see the cool decals with the Cyrillic lettering, the, the Russian... Uh, wording on there so that'll be neat and then uh, let me show you before i get to the tank riders yeah, it was missing a the muzzle brake piece so i had to take a piece of sprue and put that on there and it was also missing <coughs> part of the misa machine gun so i had to take the the piece that they gave me to go over here as the antenna stub to use that but once this is painted up it's gonna look all right and then I am gonna use a piece of wire and fill that in with a, an antenna you can see it comes with molded tools on there they're, they're, I'm gonna have to do my best to try to paint those on there repaint the whole thing I always like the Churchill because it's such a big big tank classic it's got thick armor on it it's from the front yeah, so I have a whole book on, <coughs> uh, well, well, that's the whole books on tanks. They mention about the the big amount of uh, tanks that were shipped to Russia. I know about Land Lease, and I knew the Americans gave them stuff, but I didn't know that uh, the amount of tanks that the <coughs> British manufactured and sent to them, considering British used so many Sherman tanks that they Land Lease from us, that the... They, they had tanks to give to Russia, and they did. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this. This is uh, done in a base coat of uh, the pale brown. Let's see if we can find that figure sitting there. Yeah, this, this one, I guess, is supposed to be the cover art one. So... I'm gonna gonna be it's not gonna be quite what they're showing on the artwork, but a basic brown it might get lightened up as I go along. And then I have to paint all the other parts. Some grays, blacks, and other tan, and then on some of these where they got the big blanket, I might do an olive drab. I've did a video on all these tank riders before, so <clears throat> I don't know how many of these I'm gonna use on here. It's a very big tank, so you could have a a fair amount of them on there. And they also give you two 
tank commanders in this one i've got the hatch open uh i'll either alter that one or more likely i might see if this fellow will fit in there and i believe that i found out that the russian tanker uniforms were black or at least the helmets the types were black so I'll try to get those right and see all the nice gear that they have on here. There's a line drawing again of the, what you get. Machine guns and so forth. So that's a look, uh, update on this kit. Oh yeah, let me show you some of the neat brands of brushes. Some have very t thin ends. Uh, they've got some... Uh, Here's one. Ammo, that was a, a, a good one. Army Painter. Warm it, Gamer, and Saint in Detail. Another one. Oh, look at that one. Just busted off. Oh, well. That can be fixed. And then uh, <clears throat> a couple of other brands in there some cheapies and then I have another uh, a grouping that I just got from another one uh, so lots of paint brushes it's expensive to get all this you guys know that so that's the update here and eventually when it's completely finished I'll show that too until next time more World War II 172, thanks for liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. Thank you.